Good morning, gamers. Welcome to the Smokehouse. As always, I am your host, That's the right. final gamer. Mondo cool. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hang on, I gotta, I gotta adjust my camera here. Um, right now it's a little high, um, so it's making me look very short. And as I have frequently explained on this stream, I am not at all insecure about my height, which is why I explain so often that I'm not insecure about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust the camera. But one thing I have noticed is that when when I adjust the camera. It is gonna That's look right. like a se it, Mondo cool. it is gonna look for a second like I'm strangling you, and that is not intentional. It's just my the thing has a little twisty thing at the bottom, so so don't don't, don't okay. I'm just gonna do it. There we go. Oh um, man, how is everyone? I'm um. Um, and anyone in the chat need like a gassing up? Anyone got some stuff going on? Needs some like, need, needs need, needs some support from the final gamer in his community before we get going here. Um, the nice Beto, I'm at the gym. Hype me up. The nice Beto, fucking get it. Exercise those demons away. Get them far away from you. Nerd piggy, health issues. I'm picking my ass. Tried doing some blood tests and I might have Lyme disease. I'm sorry, nerd piggy, but listen. Maybe, maybe Lyme disease is just what's needed to keep you in check with regular humans because you're so powerful without it. You're gonna fucking crush it. You're gonna be great. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. So, uh, I'm just back from my trip to San Diego. And, um, let me tell you, jet lag is a motherfucker. It's real bad. Uh, on the way back on the plane, my plane was arriving at like two o'clock in the afternoon, which is pretty good. I sleep like three quarters of the way through that entire flight and I'm like, yeah, awesome. Okay, that's 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 a good start. I stay awake for the whole rest of the day and I go to bed at around 10. I'm very tired. I get like eight hours rock solid unconscious sleep, wake up the next morning, 6 a.m., kind of my usual, and feel great, feeling good. Not a single bit tired the whole day. Go to bed last night, close my eyes, go to sleep, have a full I go to bed around I think 10 half 10 go to bed have a full night's sleep wake up feeling jet refreshed and rejuvenated look at my clock half one in the fucking morning and I could not get back to sleep for hours it was horrible and I have like a lot of little tricks I do to get myself back asleep to trick myself into unconsciousness and let me tell you, nothing goddamn worked, chat. Not 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 one thing. That it it was so bad. And you know, eventually, like, I don't want to disturb Michelle. So I just get up and I'm just sitting on the couch. And I don't want to play video games because I'm kind of a little too sleepy for that. So I'm just kind of staring and all the All the demons spinning around in your head. And then I did a I did did a Ask Me Anything on Instagram. Um Probably not gonna do another anonymous one of those. Uh, <laughs> a lot of fucking weird, weird questions there. But, you know, what are you gonna do? So if I, lo I look tired today, Michelle kept coming up today and be like, Why do you look so sad? That's how Michelle sounds. Hello, I'm Michelle. I'm John's wife. And I don't, I don't watch his videos because I just like hanging out with him instead. <laughs> if she, if she, if she saw that, she would, she would get so mad. So, for the love of God. So, I just got back from San Diego. I was I was doing some things, but um, I got to hang out with a lot of fucking, a lot of really cool people. I pretty much spent the day with um, Nitro Rad and his, his girlfriend, Tori. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how many of you know James Nitro Rad. Runs a really, really great channel. Does like a bunch of spooky videos and then like 3D platformer videos. And I got to spend the whole day with that guy and he was... Just the fucking sweetest dude I've ever met. He was so nice. Um, and then I also got to go on the Mega64 podcast. And it was interesting being on Mega64. Because like they were showing me around the studio. And I had to be very careful to like rein it in. And not be too much of a fanboy in that moment. 
Um, how much experience do you got in World of Horror? So I have about eight hours in World of Horror, but that is eight hours, I would say, about two years ago. I did beat it. I did beat a full run, but um, I don't... Um, I don't... I haven't played it in since then. I haven't played the 1.0 version, so that's all going to be new. Uh, beat everything with a stick. So proud of you for playing World of Horror. I've been jumping on it after Termina. I also recommend Slay the Princess. Funny you should say that, Dalek Sex. Oh, God damn it. Um, I, I see what you did there. You got me. Uh, I actually have Slay the Princess also downloaded here, and I downloaded it expressly with the purpose of playing it on this stream. The way I see this, I'm a little loopy. I'm a little tired. Don't know if some of you guys have noticed, but... I think the maybe way maybe the way we do this, I'd like to maybe play like an hour of World of Horror and then maybe an hour of um, Slay the Princess and just just see how we get on. What, does, that, does that sound good, chat? Does that sound all right? Oh, sorry. Okay, just before anything else. Um, yes, I am still playing Termina. Tomorrow's stream is going to be Termina. If you're watching the vods for this, this week is going to be Slay that is going to be uh, probably World of Horror and Slay the Princess. Next week we're back to Termina. But if you want to watch Termina right now, the VOD of Termina, the final VOD of Termina, I hope the final, should be up on Twitch right now. So if you just logged on to this and like, what the fuck is this shit? I want to watch Fear and Hunger. Just head on over to the Twitch channel, find the VOD there. Oh, you know what? Real quick. Um, work on run two of Eyepatch Wolves continue. Run three? Arc 2 of Eyepatch Wolves continues. Um, that is going to be out by the end of the year, hopefully. I want to show you some of like the dev sketches we're doing at the moment because it's been so fucking cool. Uh, 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 this is Damage. This is one of the new characters. Um, I love her. She's she's fucking sick. Uh, this is like from kind of our groundwork scene. These are like location development sketches, logo sketches. This is Zero. He's a bad guy. This is Diane. That's his bird friend. There's David tomorrow, and there's colors for damage. Um, yeah, if you want some eye patch wolves merch, if you're thinking about buying stuff, what I will say, if there is shit on the store now you want, I would get it because I would say we're going to sell out of probably a lot of stuff when the third run hits. As ever, I don't fucking care if you buy anything because I kind of know what it's gonna sell. But that's just a little tip to my friends and stream. We got this beautiful crow t-shirt at patchwolves.com, baby. Um, so yeah, that's that's something. Um, what a muscle woman in John's world. I am shocked. Shocked, I say. Hey, shut up, Hosman83. Um, oh, these are all by Brobex, by the way. Um, of course, she is like the concept artist on all that. And she is very sick. B-R-O-B-E-X-X -X on Twitter or everything, uh, go follow her. Okay, let's play some World of Horror. So from what I remember playing World of Horror, it had like absolutely sick music and like presentation and everything. So this should be a treat. Um, hey John, I'm in learning that Elfab is over. I want to listen to some past episodes. I just want to say that I love the podcast. Thank you all for work. Keep it rocking, cheers. Yeah. Uh, got a lot of, lot of questions about Elfab being over last night when I did the Anon thing. And it's kind of, it's kind of like what I was saying to you guys before. It's like, I would love to talk more openly about like, you know, Elfab and kind of where everyone's at. It's the kind of thing where like, it's just, there's some shit that's just not mine to talk about and I just fucking can't and it's frustrating, but it's kind of just the way it is. But I guess like what I will say is that, um... You know, nothing's ever going to be Elfab again. Let's Fight a Boss was this cool, special thing, and I'm really glad it went on for as long as it did. That said, like, I've been talking to some people, and, you know, I miss, I miss podcasting, and I think podcasting is something I really enjoy doing, and it's something that I'm good at. And while I don't... I don't really want to say too much right now, but there's there's stuff in the works. Like if if you have ever enjoyed any of my past podcasts, um, number one, 
go li listen to Jeff Jeff's Bizarre Adventure, my anime podcast with Giant Bomb. That's super fun. And number two, uh, maybe there's some stuff. Maybe there's some announcements coming at the end of the year. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's some stuff. Shenmue 2 playthrough still happening, unfortunately not, and that is one of my biggest regrets with Elfab, but it kind of just... <sighs> I... I, I get I like I guess all I can say is like I have I have done everything I can and I just think that like I, you know I'm I'm still on good terms with Brian and Neve and my feeling is that just the enthusiasm is not there to do it and I don't want to I don't want to push them if that's the case you know and like I really do try and be like as transparent with that stuff as I can be it's just you know it, it's complicated and when shit doesn't involve you it's like there's well, not that it doesn't involve you, but when it's like there's only so much you can say sometimes. Okay. So, World of Horror is basically a Junji Ito-inspired horror game. Um, I think it's fucking rad, but we'll just see here. We're going to go for New Story. Um, would you like to customize your next playthroughs? Look, there are many colors and palettes. Let's, let's have a little... One bit, two bit. I think I like the one bit look. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's ugly. No. Yeah, okay. I think that. Okay. If it's your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with spine-chilling story of school scissors options before trying more complex playthroughs. Okay, so I have done the spine-chilling story of school scissors, but I think it might be a good way to start. City of Shikawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malic malicious eldritch beings who ruled Earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at the last station. The end of the world is at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear here. You found a new item. Straight Razor. You found a new item. Takiyaki. Story so far. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now. Barely surviving the encounter with the skin... With the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against the time. You can rest until it's safe. Start the mystery. Spine-chilling story of the school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. I love that music. Fucking listen to that. <laughs> you know, I get bad vibes from the skin hag. Uh, me too. Me too. Not, not a fan of the uh, skin hags. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he too disappeared, you decide to study the notebook for clues. It's detailed. It details a ritual that claims to stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Investigate the mystery. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform an art... A ritual for her material from, uh, er, bleh, sorry, form a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of the Eldritch Sigil and then the lighting of the Holy Candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So basically, down the bottom here, we have like the different ways we can go to the school. We can um, access your storage, we can explore the school, we can perform the ritual, and we can check out the lockers. Now, in the beta game, I remember going to the lockers, gave you a baseball bat, which was actually a pretty decent item. So let's have a look. Okay, that's not right. There we go. 
Um, you found new item, wooden bat. Now we gotta equip this guy. So, as some of you will notice, you need a tiny key to open this locker. This game looks fucking rad. Okay, so now we have the bat. We should be able for most low level. Um, actually, let's access the storage real quick. Friends diary. So then I think if we look in the friends diary, okay, that is the sigil we need to do this ritual. I've hidden the candles in the in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I'll perform the ritual. Uh, Maro is acting strange. Need to talk with her after class. Hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. Okay, so now we got to start exploring the school and finding those candles. So explore school. Look at those. Oh, isn't that so fucking cute? I love that. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Hmm. Come closer. Needs anatomy perk. Class perk. I guess I'll come closer. Oh, that's not good. That's a bad one. That's not good. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. Jesus Christ. Oh, chat. I fell down. I fell down a bad. I fell down a bad TikTok hole. Um, I was swiping, and I, this woman is like sitting at a table, right? And next thing, she just takes out a big tub, and it's full of live tarantulas. And I'm not great with spiders. I, I can't, I can't, I can't do them. And um, my brain is like, John, fucking move. Like, don't watch whatever this is. And she takes out a big, like, bucket of ice and basically pours the tarantulas, like, and it's like 80 tarantulas. It's so many. She pours the tarantulas into the ice and, like, to, to kill them, basically, and then, like, pours water over them to drown them and then starts frying them, seasoning them, and just eating full tarantulas. And... Look, never want to be that dude who's like, oh, other cultures eat weird shit, and it's just not about that. It's just about, I think for me personally, someone eating tarantulas is like the most nightmarish shit I could think of. And so I watched the whole fucking thing because I'm an idiot. And um, then I scrolled down a couple more, and there was just dudes eating live tarantulas, just full on. And... Uh, yeah. Weeks later, I'm still fucked up. Um, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't wait for TikTok to show you your nightmares and then just watch it. That's the lesson here. Uh, minus four reason and logic. Absolutely. Resolve this event. Okay, so you see there how this works. Like, if I had the anatomy perk, I could have done something different there. But because I didn't, I kind of just had to take the hit. I, I maybe could have left as well. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. Its heart is beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Resolve this event. Cool. Uh, peek outside. So let's have a little peeky outside. You find an additional page for your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. To open the door, click the handle and drag the mouse. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's probably nothing horrifying. Oh! Oh, ooh. uh, no, that's cool. That's, nope, don't want none of that. Okay, explore the school. You enter the damp smelling port, port wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you've been looking for? Enter the water. You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Prepare for combat. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Oh, jeez! Sir! Sir! No thank you! I- No thank you, sir! And um, during- Okay, so... The combat's pretty simple, but it's like, basically you have a certain amount of action points per turn, and you decide how you want to use them. Uh, during each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and move- them. 
and move the action ring B. Once you fill the sequence um, C, press the launch sequence. So, okay, the way this works is like, okay, I can kick it. So it wants me to kick right now. So see the way my bar fills up there? That's taken up nearly a qu just over a quarter of my bar. So I can kick it, kick it, and I can't kick it a third time because I don't have enough action points. Um, now I want to clear because that's actually not what I want to do. Um, okay, I think it's the tutorial. It just wants me to click kick, so I'll do that. Okay, so I basically line up my attacks, hit launch sequence. Boom, boom. And he hits me, turn two begins. Okay, so now we have our options. So attack with your weapon. So whereas my kick was um, two damage, attacking with my weapon is four damage and it only takes up a little bit more. So this will do way more damage. Uh, what is it? With time, you'll discover new combat moves available through the action filter A. But first, you need a weapon. Find and choose an action called Look for Improvised Weapon. Okay, yeah, so it's still kind of making me do shit. Improv and launch sequence. So he hits me for another two health. And look, a new item has appeared in your inventory in the upper right. Select the item with your cursor and open the item submenu. Ba -ba 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 branch so it wants me to use the branch even though I have a better weapon but that's okay okay so now we go here and we attack turn four begins the bloated teacher disappears underwater okay now I actually just want to uh, put my back because it's better than the branch two and we can stick a kick right in there at the end launch sequence got him and that's how combat works you found the blessed chalk which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual you can copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard hopefully it'll be enough okay so basically now we have a certain amount of time to before the scissors woman is going to come and get us um, so we can keep exploring this school and like trying to find better items and stuff like that or we can just do the ritual right now um, I would say I would say let's give this let, let's give it let's give the school maybe one or two more explorers uh, a tall woman with an unsettling face twitching lip stops you I'll be your biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Um, I don't know about you, chat, but this feels perfectly safe to me. Look check. Fails. The creepy substitute teacher hands you a dusty old biology specimen. The rancid spell of formalin almost makes you drop the jar. Should, uh, should fetuses have so many legs? Minus two stamina. Well, that was bad. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Let's uh, let's explore the school one more time. The sound of the scissors getting louder. Hurry. Wait, do we have the sacred candles? I don't believe we do. Okay, we gotta find them sacred candles. Which means we gotta keep exploring the school. Uh, you hear the faint sound. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old Madari model. Its heart is beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. Okay, nice. We got the blessed candles. Everything is ready for the ritual. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take some uh, takiyaki. Plus one reason. Tasty. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Okay. Uh, we're a bit beat up, so this could be tricky. Okay, perform the ritual. Oh, shit. Okay, I think I fucked up. Oh, I definitely fucked up. The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong, frozen in fear, you watch the twitching horror get closer and closer. It raises its enormous, or enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Prepare for combat. So yeah, this is this is bad end. This is R.I.P. 
twitching and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cack cackling maniacally. Am I beautiful? Um, so I don't think we're actually going to be able to hit her. Um, because we didn't perform the ritual correctly. The, sl the scissors woman slashes at you with her scissors. And we don't really have a lot of options, but so I think she's just gonna kill us. Uh, the oh shit, okay, okay. So the bat is now equipped. Why is that not? Working? You don't have time to change your equipment. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we should have re-equipped that earlier. It won't really matter because we just. I think if we had supernatural powers, we could hit her. But basically, we're fucked. My beautiful god that art chat is so fucking cool you've perished cause of death killed by scissors woman um your play playthrough lasted 50 minutes in this run you didn't complete any mysteries you fought saw four new events you encountered two new enemies you unlocked one achievement that's, right. that's just how she rolls okay i think i want to do the spine chilling story of the scissors again Oh, shit, the combat tutorial was on. Uh. Okay, so same deal. We're going to go straight to the locker room. We're going to get our baseball bat. And now we're going to explore the school. You hear a faint sound while walking inside the biology classroom. Oh, fuck. So this event... You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find these items. Ritual, access your storage. Friend's diary, and that is going to have... Okay, and that is the... That's like the sigil we need to draw to make her solid. So basically, every time you go explore a school, you go to the black school gym, notice... I wonder is this all, like, happening the exact same because it's a tutorial or something? Might be. So as soon as we get the chalk this time, we need to um, we need to do this the the sigil, and that's that's what fucked us up last time. Yeah, it's making us do basically all the same stuff. Oh, this does more damage though. At least we got a broken bottle instead of a stick this time. Got him. Okay, so if we check the friend's diary, that's what we want to create. So we want a star and we want the two little circles. So change this. And change this. I don't think that's it, but it might be. Ah, yeah, no, I think that's it. I think it's just messier drawn over here. No, that's an upside down star. That looks more like it. There we go. Now. Now she's showing up. Is she going to get knocked the fuck out? But let's equip our wooden baseball bat. Uh, I'm going to decline her this time. She suddenly grabs your hand. Oh, I insist. Uh, fine. Look, check failure. God damn it. Hurry. One more exploration of the school, and this time we should find... That's weird that that comes up twice, and now we have that. This is definitely, like... The way, the way this campaign usually goes is you go around the school, and you just get a bunch of random weird things. Wait, what's that? It should be correct now. You take a step back as the writing amorphous uh, mass slowly takes uh, shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. That's so fucking cool. Now's your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It's also your only chance to prepare for combat. I don't know if we have enough health to beat her, but I think we should do. Twisting and twitching, the demon one enters the classroom, cackling maniacally. Am I beautiful? Okay. 
Oh, hang on, actually. So we can... So we can actually prepare our attack. Next attack is a guaranteed hit. Attack boost. Your next attack has an additional 10% chance to hit. So if we use this, which only uses a tiny bit of our meter, then go for a strong attack, then go for that again, and then boom, we're going to boost our attack by 10%. That feels good to me. We're going to go for that chat. Oh, we hit her for six health. That's pretty good. Turn two begins. I feel like that's a good tactic. The attack boost, the strong attack, the attack boost, and the normal attack. Oh, we nailed her for 10 health. Okay. Uh, we probably can't take much more from her, so I hope this works. So she has 4 HP left. So what I might do instead is prepare our attack... which guarantees a hit and then if we use our strong attack that should kill her hell yeah The ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly devolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him up and both of you limp away from the school as the police siren gets louder. Spine-chilling story of the school scissors ending A. The horror is over. For now! Um, your playthrough lasted 7 minutes and 40 seconds. That's not the only mystery plaguing this town. You must con continue your investigation. So that's like a very basic example of what a um, of what like a campaign in Fear and Horror is. But that is like that is like the little baby beginner campaign. That's not like the big the big strong mean campaign. How many endings are there? There's a fair few in that one. I remember I did. I don't remember how, but I got another ending in that where I think you become the scissors woman. Fear and Horror. Did I say Fear and Horror? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've done like I do, I've done like 40 fear and hunger streams. I it's just it's it's going to happen, okay? Okay. New story. Um extracurricular activity. This option will prepare you for the standard playthrough for you, allowing you to start the game without worrying about in-depth stuff for now. True chaos. This option will start a new playthrough randomly selecting character, old god, background and more. Customize playthrough. Choose your own character, background. Okay, let's go for this one. And World of Horror base game, World of Horror Unlockables. Okay, let's go for World of Horror base game. I, I love how this thing looks. I think it looks so fucking cool. Okay, and the rest of this shit just seems to be stuff that you have to unlock. One last thing. A tall man left a suitcase for you in the morning. He said you'll know the password. I wonder what could that mean? Uh. I, I, I don't know the password. <gasps> but it opens. And now we get the same intro. Uh, okay. And so... Now we can pick, like, our own character. And, like, they all have, like, buffs. Like, this one, she has plus, plus dexterity on dexterity checks, minus on knowledge checks, starts combat with a speed bonus. Uh, barely surviving after a ghost of a drowned man kept her underwater, she is determined to solve this mystery. Okay, who we got? I think, I think, I think we're going for this girl. I'm, I'm feeling this girl. Uh, Aiki, Aiko Takahashi, 20 years old, female. Okay, this all seems cool with me. Let's get going. Classic mode. Old gods are awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. The end of the world is at hand. Additional modes unlock as you progress. Somewhere, a group of people gather trying to awaken their master. So the way World of Horror works is like... Basically, there's five mysteries you can solve at any one time, and a mystery would be like the one we just did with the scissors. Um, and you have to solve those five mysteries as a bunch of cultists try and, like, awaken an old god. 
and it's um it's like you have to get through that mystery in time and basically i think gather enough artifacts or something like that i can't quite remember because it's been a minute but let's just go in somewhere a group of people gathers trying to awaken their master and you can you can pick which old god you want them to summon the terrible spider god kathikaratsu is once again awakening from its slumber. Binded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. I feel like maybe that's um that's maybe appropriate. And this and then like it has this it has this like uh, effect on all of combat. Eternal web, you can't run from combat. Etho, the devouring fire. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandra, a perfect black marble statue has been recently discovered and is currently waiting at the Museum of Ooh for its long-awaited premiere, Entropy. Both your damage, both you, your enemies, both you and your enemies' damage is increased. Both you. Um, the Mad God favors Astrona. Uh, Athyoseth, the Towering Eye. The Mad God favors uh, astronomers and magicians, granting them the gift of power that unknowingly brings Athyoseth's bloated body closer to Earth. Cosmic gift, casting spells, costing reason, increases doom instead. I think we're gonna go for the spiders, because that's that's appropriate. Oh, that's so scary, Jesus. Hang on, chat, I'm just gonna just gonna put on It's a little it's, it's a little chilly. And um, blind bites impossible to satisfy hunger, blah 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 blah. Stop it before it devours us all. Old gods rule, you can't escape from combat. Backstory, World of Horror. Okay, so now this is like an actual proper World of Horror game. First time playing, select this. And we can basically go and search a bunch of stuff. Your mailbox is empty. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You are not currently investigating any weird mysteries. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. So we can start a new mystery, and then we have these mysteries to, like, pick from. Mm -hmm. Inexplicable and mor morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt and influence yet unsolved mysteries. So. Curious case of the contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People who try to awake the patients up only end up falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated to warding the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people? And how did this strange illness start? To advance this mystery, investigate the circle of location. As you progress, the locations and the rules may change. So basically, you have this little town map here. And this is basically just like, where do you want to go next? Um, and when it circles something, it's like, that's what you got to do to like advance the story. Investigate the village location twice to complete this quest. So we're going to investigate the school where we've already been. Impossible ang angles and seeming moving lines make your head spin. Need item, Ikumi Alley. So we don't have the items, just got a stare. Minus one reason, resolve the events. Um, investigate the village location. So we're going to investigate the village and see what we find. Oh, jeez. Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two mercenary looking masked men's figure block your escape. Do you serve the old ones? Um... Yes, we apologize for this master plus two allies plus seven doom. Okay, so the doom meter is like another thing you have to keep track of. This is basically like if the doom meter gets to 100%, the old god wakes up and everything dies. But I think I just got two allies. The Sikuban girl. Fujiko, your kick action deals one additional damage. Cool, we got party members. That was way faster than Fear and Hunger 2. Um, cheaper treatment and surgery actions. Nurse. Okay, cool. That's actually really worked out. Um, so now we're going to investigate the village again. And there's some smaller allies. 
Um, a friend returning from a trip trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time you've out this time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meats. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything with you. Um, the steak is to die for. I knew you'd like it, your friend says, winking and packing it up for you. An old man from the village hands you a package. This should help you understand the illness. Dust of seeing. Momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible. Use. Okay, so what that's telling me is there's some invisible spook out there who's putting people into this coma. But I also notice that um, the steak our friend gave us is, is long pig. And chat, if you ever, if you ever, if you ever end up in like in a in a restaurant, and and they try and, and long pig is on the menu, uh, don't eat there. That's 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 not cool. Okay, so I think we got to use the dust of seeing. This actually needs a target enemy. Okay. Village twice to complete the quest. Okay, we're gonna investigate downtown. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the packet but hesitate, an icy feeling settling in the pit of your stomach. Examine the package! Dexterity check failure. God damn it. It's not until you've unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hands. God damn it. Um, investigate the hospital. Let's do a little more snooping around. We can go to the hardware shop now. Um, do we have any funds? Okay, we bought a shovel because shovels do crazy damage and now we're going to equip that. I'm feeling good about that. And what say we investigate the seaside? The waves lazily wash upon the shore. You take a deep breath. The fresh sea air clears your head. Plus one reason. Resolve this event. Um, let's make our way to the hospital. The adventure text is in the box above the town map. You need to sneak into the hospital and borrow the information about patient zero. Let's do it. You meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Ask about them. Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place. Plus 10 XP, minus 2 reason. Um, you've got their name and address. Let's get out of here. So because we're at the hospital right now, we can like go in to heal injuries and stuff, but I think we're actually kind of fine. I don't think we need to do that. So like we can go in here, but it costs Doom to enter, so I don't want to do that. Um, alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore his throat out. Uh, oh, steal his gun. Um, he won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad about stealing from a corpse. I don't. I don't feel bad. That's this. That's that's not true. Damage one shot. But do we need bullets? Police station. You were stopped by a young policewoman. How can I help? Request more police patrols. School. Request more police patrols. I'm not actually sure what that's about. I don't think that was added last time. You enter the hospital looking for information about a certain patient. The main corridor is dark and strangely empty. You spot a nurse at the registration booth. She's asleep from exhaustion. Sneak past her, set trash can on fire, let her sleep. 
I think we can sneak past her because we have decent dexterity. Dexterity check failure. God damn it! Um, you managed to sneak past. You've ma unfortunately the old cabinet squeaks loudly. Walking the nurse, get thrown out of the hospital. Damn it! Um, investigate the village of Quays and twice more to complete the quest. So we've solved that. Town. Investigate downtown. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He steps in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it be? Follow the weird man, call the police, do nothing. Follow the weird man, follow the weird man. Perception check success. The door is locked, but you repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. A moment later, the door opens and surprised teen with a greasy hair asks, who the hell are you? Mistaking these nerds for cultists, Sure is embarrassing, but this, but deep inside you're relieved. Okay, so nothing there. The man dabbled in mag magic. You found, you found in a journal. Uh, uh, uh. Describing a certain village and instructions for summoning a ritual, it seems that he tried to contact the entity from the dream realms. Interesting. Investigate village. Unseasonable floods have closed many of the roads. Print all the way. You've wasted a lot of time looking for a safe path. God damn it! Okay, I want to try and investigate the village again. In an otherwise bleak village, the look of the most beautiful flower patch surprises you. As you get closer to compliment the gardener, you stop hearing weird sniffling sounds. Oh shit! Okay, um... Sniffling Gardener, that... Huh. So she has 18 HP. Police Revolver. Fire Weapon, time needed. Hmm. So if we prepare our attack, then fire the revolver, then hit her with the rev then... Attack boost, and then hit her with the revolver. I think that should be pretty good. So she has 18 HP. Boom! Oh man, we took off. We we took off 12 HP, chat. There's no reason to fight her just because she has a big nose. That's not quite the reason we're fighting. So I think if I prepare your attack, and then hit her again with a shot, and then same sequence. Doesn't really matter because she's gonna die. Boom. Got her. Wait, what's that? We found an item shovel. Oh, we already had a shovel. Do you mind that you have a limited amount of bullets? Okay, understand. Sell the shovels. That's not a bad idea, actually. So this is the shop. It's run by a little little Shiba Inu, which immediately makes this a good candidate for game of the year, I think. Um Flashlight is actually kind of handy to have. Mm. There's actually a shop in Japan run by a Shiba. I saw a YouTube short about it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do we need to go back to the village? As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? Ah, one bite won't hurt. It's surprisingly good, but you kindly refuse another serving. Strength check. Feeling the eyes of the restaurant guests on you, you take a small bite. Hell yeah. It's easy for us to come to. Describing a certain village and instruction for summoning. Hmm. 
Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the OO park. You can cast one spell without paying anything. I don't think we have any spells. Someone has been branding patients with occult symbols. I think that's pretty normal, though. That's not like... Like, like, that's just, that's just a fun pastime right there. Branded. Like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for their eldritch masters? Resolve this event. Investigate the quarantine wing. This is it. Let's hope we find an answer. You've managed to sneak through the floor while avoiding the police and finally reach the quarantine wing where all the coma patients are brought in. Their pulses are slowly weakening and their blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Use the dust of seeing. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, as you try to process, following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. As you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. Um, prepare yourself. The creature causing... The contagious coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. Oh, jeez. Okay. Unplug. The monster seems to gain its strength from sleeping patients. Unplugging life support from one of them will weaken the monster but kill that patient. Deals 15 damage, costs 3 reason. Oh, that's dark. Um, We're very low on reason, so I think that's a bad idea. I think we're gonna we're gonna aim and we're gonna fire then we're gonna prepare and then we're gonna punch it okay launch sequence it's got 36 HP here we go nice down to 24 dream devourer feeds on your nightmares minus three health uh, okay I'm not sure what feeding on its nightmares did. Um, have you seen Frederick down the rabbit hole put out a six hour history of Eve online? Right, okay. So I was in a call with Atrocity Guide and Frederick and I asked him what he was working on. And he said that he's working on like a history of Eve online. And I was like, oh cool, can't wait for that video. And I asked him when it would be out, and he said February. That was two years ago. And ever since then, I've been like, man, when is this coming? And it's so fucking cool to see it finally, finally come out. Fair play to the guy. I cannot imagine the toll a five-hour video puts out, especially the way he makes videos. Like, he was telling me that uh, when he makes videos, he pretty much, like, he'll write about 500 words a day, which is not a lot, but it has to be, like, 500 words all meticulously checked. Because he's not really writing about, like, how he feels or about, like, opinions he is just purely documenting and wow yeah i have not watched it yet I, i'm really looking forward to it um frederick's fucking awesome really really cool creator um my spouse nearly jumped there is something like you know when you see a youtuber not post for a while and when i say a while i'm not talking about like what i do i'm talking about like when a youtuber takes like a year and then you see their notification pop up. It makes me so happy. Like when I see an action button notification or when Joseph Anderson finally drops that Witcher 3 video, I'm gonna be so fucking hyped. It's gonna be so good. Uh, Funger, people asking about Funger. Funger is tomorrow. Uh, we are hopefully beating Funger 2 tomorrow. I felt like that went pretty well, so we're gonna go for the same one. We're gonna prepare our attack, we're gonna fire, and we're gonna hit him with the butt of our pistol. Nice, down to 12 HP. Um, he's going straight for our health, but we have enough health to beat him, I feel like. 
So I feel like this tell I feel like this tactic's working fine. If if this second attack hits, this should end the fight. It did not hit. Oh! Your health dropped too low. Warning, you will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Uh um That's bad. Shit, we keep missing him. Oh, this is bad. Uh, he has drained our sanity. Come on, come on, come on. The encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you have been locked in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you are insane. That no old god is awakening to devour humanity, but the drugs haven't made those horrors disappear. And then, like, oh, the way the fucking tentacle is coming in through, like, the bottom slit. You've perished. Man, I felt like, I felt like we had that right up until the end. Guys, that's World of Horror. Um, I will probably play some more of it on stream in the future. But right now, I think I really want to switch over to Slay the Princess, because that game seems rad. Uh, I'd really recommend it if people want to check it out. It's it's really, really cool. Ran out of ammo. Shit! Okay. Lesson learned. 